Hello, people. I want to show y'all how you can get some... How you can get infinite power and Apollo Research Facility, or Apollo Computer Core Research Facility, as some people call it. Let me see. Yep. Computer Core Apollo Research Facility. And I want to so show y'all all, all the features that are in for it. So you're going to want to start by walking in here, through here, and if you want to make it faster, don't take the airlock. Jump on this, jump up here, and then you can just run through here. And you're going to be tempted to go through that, but that takes you to a railgun. Maybe, yes, you can go there if you want to, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to take a few steps down here. Then you're going to want to go from this door all the way to the trams. And once you're over there, I'll, t I'll tell you the next step. Once you're at these trams, uh, the, the right one is going to not be there, but the left one is. A tip that I tell you to use is just take the left tram because it tends to be faster when you first start the game. And just don't take the cargo elevator, it is super slow. Like, uh, the fa when you call the cargo elevator, it's gonna take so much longer. Like, this tram can go to all four floors by the time the cargo elevator reaches from four to one. Then you want to select four, and then once you make your way down, go into the other door. So we've made it to the bottom, and you want to make it to the transit station. And there's going to be two transits that are available. There are four doors, but only two of them are available. This is the Apollo core. This takes you to the Apollo, and this one takes you to the, s to the engineering decks, or the central reactor. Which is where we need to go. You can take a detour and go to the Apollo if you want to, but you don't have to. So you call this, and now you watch 30 seconds or 45 seconds if you're like get wasted because this thing takes four years to come. Alright, so the transit system is here after 45 years. So you're gonna wanna go inside and then just press press the call button again. You'll just move on to the other side. It won't take long once you're on it, but it takes long to call it over to you. <coughs> oh, we're at the end. Alright, so normally you would have there would be a switch right in here. I'll show you where to go. So you go in here and then you go into the electrical room gonna go into this electrical room and there's gonna be these three so what these are is uh, where what is online and generating power diesel diesel generators are online right now which I can't power off this used to be something like connect that it used to be something like auxiliary power and and primary power now it is connect power and disconnect power I'll show you all what that looks like so turn up your volume Alright, that's power off, and this is power on. Pretty cool. And I just hope you know that if you do power it off like that, you're gonna have to go down to pump station alpha and power on the pumps again, because you need those to, for to start up the central reactor. So I'll see y'all when I do that. Alright, so I have everything powered on. Alright, so you're going to want to go over here. Go into here. And you're going to want to do this before the diesel generators go out, because then you won't have anything to do it with. So, coolant pumps are needed for the coolant check, and power is needed for the security check. So turn both of these keys. And you can actually remove keys. If you if you just normally click it, it won't remove itself. But if you right click it, it'll take it out, which is really cool. Same thing for the bolts in the DNER room. Turn these two. Power it on. All 
Alright, so this this right here controls the energy discharge. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set that energy discharge to 11,000. Do not set it to anything over, or else this is gonna happen. That is what you don't want. So set it to where it's just 11,000. And it's easy to remember. Alright, so once everything is set to 11,000, you have just collected infinite power. So now, I want to show y'all how you can purge the reactor, which some people don't know how to do. Alright, so you want to start by lowering the energy discharge all the way to 1,000. Many people who are new to the game, they set it to max, but that's not how you do it. This button, mass driver access, I'm going to use my auto clicker to reduce it. I'm not hacking just using an auto-clicker. It's just a bug. And please no one report me, I'm just using an auto-clicker. I didn't really get into contact with the owner, so he doesn't know I'm doing this, but it's not hurting anyone's gameplay. Alright, so you're gonna want to wait until that energy capacity reaches a high, high amount. Then, you're gonna see this button that says Mass Driver Access. That's gonna open up. Once it opens up, you're gonna wanna rush to the inside. Do not take the elevator, though. You're gonna need that later. So, press my stra Mass Driver. Rush to the inside. Be as quick as you can. The quicker, the better. The quicker, the better. Maybe you can leave these doors primed open. I don't do that. So... You're gonna wanna run over here. And you're gonna wanna prime this. You're gonna turn the key, activate the mass driver brake. And you wanna run over here and you're gonna wanna pull that lever. It's gonna do this. Maybe it'll st strike one last time. Alright, then you're gonna prime the beta core. Then you're gonna wanna do that. Do not go this way. That's the long way. You wanna go this way. This is quicker. After the second one, after you prime the beta core, it's gonna start making a lightning noise. You're gonna wanna prime that one. And yes, the lightning is gonna be faster, but don't get intimidated. So basically the same all the way around, but you have to go Alpha, Beta, Delta, and then the last one, which I don't know. Gamma. No wait, it's Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and then Delta. After you pull that lever, you're going to want to run all the way to that place I told you not to go to. It's going to sound a little more. This is what primes the central reactor. Alright, so anyone up there, it's gonna do that last lightning strike, but wait. Wait for this. That second strike is what opens the purge system. And yes, this is basically really accurate to Alien Isolation. This game takes a lot of inspiration from Alien Isolation. It's really, really close to it. Alright, don't leave it like this for too long because it's basically like a plugged up drain. It'll overload over time. And now, I'm gonna mute my mic so you guys can hear the reactor purge, because this is really cool.
go, you have successfully just purged the reactor. And I think you should refuel the generators before you purge, because that way you're going to have to turn the pull up back on. And I think it broke the bridge, too. I've already made a thermal nuclear energy reactor video. You can go check that out. I'll leave the, uh... So... Anyways. I have made a thermal nuclear energy... I mean, thermal nuclear experimental reactor. I've already made a video on that. You can go check it out. It's right there. So, it's it's to the right. It's, it's over there. On, it's right there on the right, so... See y'all later. See y'all in the next video. <laughs>